Hello guys, this is me Dr. JK and today we will discuss about odontomas. We are basically discussing the you know odontogenic tumors uh, which are originated from the odontogenic epithelium with odontogenic ectomesenchyme. So basically they are you know mixed tumors. In our previous lectures we have studied about ameloblastic fibroma, ameloblastic fibroodontoma and ameloblastic odontoma that is also known as odontoameloblastoma and today we will discuss about odontomas okay it is a most common type of odontogenic tumors they are developmental anomalies which are you know hematomas rather than true neoplasm they consist chiefly of enamel and dentine with variable amounts of pulp and cementum when they are mature okay or in their a late stage of development and in early stage of development they have varying amounts of proliferating odontogenic epithelium and mesenchyme okay there are two types of odontoma one is compound and other is complex okay the compound odontoma is composed of multiple small tooth-like structures whereas the complex odontoma consists of you know just mass of enamel and dentine which bears no anatomic resemblance to the tooth in, mo uh, in most series, compound odontomas are more frequently diagnosed than complex. It is because, you know, compound odontomas more likely uh, look like a tooth structure which are smaller in size, whereas that of the, you know, complex uh, is, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, you know, very less they resemble that of the tooth structure. Occasionally, these lesions may show features of both compound and complex odontoma. Now we will discuss about clinical features, you know they are most commonly present in the first two decades of life and the mean age at the time of diagnosis is 14 years. Uh, in the majority of the cases they are completely asymptomatic and they are diagnosed on routine radiographic examination to check why the tooth is not erupting because you know, they are present in the you know path of the tooth, erup uh, tooth eruption, I will show you that image. Okay relatively small and seldom exceed the size of a tooth in the area where they are located okay so if you talk about odontoma they are mostly they are smaller in size and they seldom exceed the size of a tooth in the area and there are large odontomas as well and they are up to you know six centimeter or more in diameter okay but they are occasionally seen Okay, uh, if you talk about mandible and maxilla, then we should say that maxilla is more commonly involved than mandible. Compound type is more often seen in the anterior maxilla, whereas that of complex odontomas are more commonly present in the molar region of the mandible. Occasionally, an odontoma will develop completely within the uh, gingival soft tissues. Now, we will discuss about radiographic features. So, uh, they are divided into compound and complex. If you talk about compound, then collection of tooth-like structures of varying size and shape and is surrounded by a narrow radiolucent zone, okay? And after that, we have complex odontomas. They, they, are, they consist of calcified mass with a radio density of tooth structure, which is also surrounded by a narrow radiolucent rim. An unerupted tooth is frequently associated with odontomas. Here you can see this is the maxillary canine and these are the tooth-like structures you know and they are present in the path of uh, you know eruption of this maxillary canine and they are not allowing this uh, maxillary canine to erupt into its position similar is the case with the mandibular canine here these are small tooth-like structures in fact cluster of tooth-like structures and this is the you know mandibular canine and these, these uh, tooth-like structures are present uh, in the path of uh, eruption of this canine. Okay, and here you can see this is a large radio-opaque lesion present over this, you know, second mandibular molar, and it has displaced the second uh, mandibular molar to the inferior border of the, you know, uh, mandible. So uh, if we uh, excise this or resect this lesion it will be very dangerous because it may lead to the fracture of uh, uh, you know mandible so this case is very difficult case in fact okay uh, 
they may be present between the roots of erupted teeth and are not associated with disturbance in eruption. The radiographic findings are usually diagnostic and the compound odontoma is seldom confused with any other lesion. A developing odontoma may show little evidence of calcification and appear as circumscribed radiolucent lesion. Radiographically confused with an osteoma or some other highly calcified bone lesion. So we will discuss about differential diagnosis. Okay. Now we will discuss about histopathological features. The compound odontoma consists of multiple structures resembling small single tooth teeth contained in uh, single rooted teeth contained in a loose fibrous matrix. The mature enamel caps of the tooth like structures are lost during decalcification. This is the problem okay, for preparation of the microscopic section but varying amounts of enamel matrix are often present. Pulp tissue may be seen in the coronal and root portion of the tooth-like structures. In patients with developing odontoma, structures uh, that resemble tooth germs are present. Here you can see different, you know, tooth-like structures after its, you know, excision. Okay, complex odontomas consist largely of mature tubular dentin. This dentin encloses clefts or hollow circular structures that contain the mature enamel that was removed during decalcification. The spaces may contain small amounts of enamel matrix or immature enamel. Occasionally, a dentigerous cyst may arise from the epithelial lining of the fibrous capsule of complex odontoma. This is important point. Okay. Here you can see, you know, the if we talk about this structure, this is the. Uh, uh, you know in amyloid matrix okay this is the dentine right and if we talk about this structure this is enamel enamel dentine and in amyloid matrix this is uh, you know complex odontoma this is compound odontoma this is the pulp right pulp, pulp over here and this is dentine this is enamel and this is uh, you know epithelial covering epithelial enamel dentine and pulp Okay, now we'll discuss about differential diagnosis. If we talk about complex odontoma, so it, it can be osteoma, it can be amyloblastic fiber odontoma, and if you talk about compound, it resembles, of course, supernumerary teeth and generally calcifying cystic odontogenic tumors. Okay, these are the differential diagnosis of odontoma. Now we'll discuss about treatment and prognosis. Uh, odontomas are treated by simple local excision prognosis is excellent if we talk about compound odontoma multiple small tooth like structures are there so now discuss about summary okay uh, in summary we we can say that it is the most common type of odontogenic tumors they are hematomas they are not true neoplasms if we talk about compound odontoma uh, they resemble enamel dentine with a variable amount of pulp and cementum more commonly present in the anterior maxilla whereas the complex you know they are consist of masses of enamel and dentine and no anatomic resemblance to the tooth and is present most commonly in the posterior mandible if we talk about the treatment of choice it is simple local excision so these are the references of this lecture hopefully you enjoyed my lecture so if you enjoy this lecture please subscribe to my channel we will come up with other videos and more videos in fact on oral pathology so till my next video take care and bye bye